The Independent Electoral Commission has encouraged South African youth to come out in their numbers this weekend to register to vote. The IEC has expressed concern about the high number of South Africans below the age of 30 that have still not registered to vote. Now, this is the final voter registration weekend before this year's national and the provincial elections to be held in May. And uh, millions of South Africans are expected to flock to various voting stations to register or confirm their details this weekend. And in studio this morning, we have the Deputy Chief Electoral Officer, Dr. Dr. Nomsa Masugu. A very good morning to you, Ms. Masugu. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's a pleasure. Good morning, yes, Pierre. The IEC uh, wants people to register to vote, but people are disrupting your work. Why is this so? And uh, are you not concerned at all? We are concerned. I think uh, for, for the public, we are an easy target. We bring uh, with it uh, the focus is on um, what the work that we do. And people like to piggyback on that mm -hmm. and um, express and vent their, 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 their dis discomfort, their, their, their unhappiness. Mm -hmm. um, and because we deal with politics, I think um, people think that we are also politicians. Mm -hmm. And therefore, uh, they, they, they lay at a doorstep a lot of their grievances. Uh, and their disappointments about what it is that uh, they're not getting, if they're not getting heard, uh, if they are, uh, the, the promises have been made to them, because we are right at the coal face, uh, they, they, they take, they vent all of that uh, on us. I think it is a pity because um, as the Electoral Commission, our job is to give people a voice to do exactly that, to, to make sure that they choose representatives that can represent them and, and do what it is that they want to do. Yeah. So we are, the, the, we are the link between them and their representatives. Uh, but I suppose um, if, 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 if you are in the, in the line of fire, you, 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 you shouldn't complain when you get hurt. Indeed. And in terms of what happened yesterday, the IEC has now come out to say that uh, it is absolutely not responsible for service delivery. But it can't be denied that uh, it does adversely affect the registration drive. So what kind of plans or, 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 we'll see, or yeah, what kind of plans do you have in place to make sure that everything runs smoothly? Okay. <clears throat> as, 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 as the Electoral Commission, what we do, we, we, we never stop work even after the election. Uh, this is an indication that uh, people don't quite understand uh, how a democracy works. Um, so, so we have a, a lot of work that we do uh, between elections where we educate people and try and help them with their thinking processes about the link between registration, voting and service delivery. Uh, but but uh, that, that message it doesn't, that, that doesn't go through uh, as much as, as quickly as, uh, as we wish. So we do campaigns, we've got field workers on the field, we uh, work with a, with a faith-based be, faith organization, civil society, to make sure that people have the education that they need, the understanding that they need. We can inform their thinking so that they can think through these things and say that um, uh, you have a duty to talk to your representative. When you're unhappy with them, it is important that you express uh, that, that unhappiness. But uh, when, you, when you start destroying property, that is outside the law. That's a criminal act. So the, 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 the law provides that you can protest, but you do so peacefully. And you do so without uh, uh, destroying uh, property, without destroying life, without jeopardizing lives. So as long as people are protesting, the Electoral Commission doesn't have a problem. But when they start interfering with the work of the Electoral Commission, therein lies the problem. Yeah. Because uh, it is actually a, a, a criminal act to, to prevent the Electoral Commission from doing its work. But we never really take it up because we understand where the, where the anger is coming from. And we understand that we're a young democracy. We understand that uh, because we're a young democracy, we still have a lot of work to do. So, so, so we, we, we are there as the Electoral Commission, but I, I'm sure there'll come a time yeah. when uh, we are not that uh, as accommodating as we are. You know, this is a highly uh, political exercise. I mean, you certainly can never divorce politics from the registration mm -hmm. drive. And uh, I mean, do you get the sense that people really do understand the work of the IEC? Because when you talk of registration, when you talk of election, people talk about service delivery, as we've seen uh, y yesterday, and they say that uh, what's the point of voting when a certain party isn't delivering? How are you getting the message to people that, uh, I mean, you are only providing the platform for people to exercise their right? I listened to a young man yesterday who said that um, if I stop people from, uh, from, from, from registering to vote, I'm making the politicians suffer. That's the, the, that, that for me, I think, represents the, the general thinking mm -hmm. that uh, we are 
right out there with the same, uh, I think in, in South Africa they say we're all in the same WhatsApp group. Yeah. And for them there is absolutely no distinction between the, the, the electoral process and that you're giving a platform. You become it, you become the, the, the easiest target. And I, I don't think that's going to stop. What I do, what do, does worry me is how as South Africans we express our, our anger, how we express, how we channel uh, our disappointments. And I think that there are ways of uh, that are much more constructive of having a conversation even when we disagree we don't have to destroy ourselves but yes we are an easy target as the electoral commission but mm -hmm. the electoral commission provides a vital service uh, for, for the for the country it provides a, a, a way in which you choose people who govern you people who represent you um, uh, short of uh, you fighting it out and battling it out, elections are the only way, and no mm -hmm. one has come up with a better solution uh, than than, than uh, helping you to choose your your representatives in that manner. All right, Dr. Masugo, please uh, stay on. We'll continue with this conversation in just a moment because now we have to cross to our reporter in Port Elizabeth, all the way to Matsipane for what's expected during the voter registration today. Very good morning to you, uh, all the way to. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, do you want to give us a, a quick update on uh, what's happening today? Good morning, some people. Well, we're crossing from to you um, from the Oceans Campus, Ocean Science Campus, and at the Nelson Mandela University. Um, this is one of the campuses where we're expecting a lot of young people to actually come. First time um, voters will are expected to to register here um, since yesterday and today. Uh, and we've seen a couple so far. Uh, when I asked them why they're here, and they said that um, one said it's important um, to register, and it's important to vote, but the other was um, no, it's because my mom forces me to do this, so I'm, I'm here because. I'm Forced. Um, however, I can tell you that um, things were smooth in some parts of the Eastern Cape, uh, but ever we've had some problems in areas such as Gombe, where people were saying that they're not going to register. Also, um, in areas such as Tataheim, at Amashati municipality, where there was a total shutdown and um, IC officials are not allowed in. And in, in the Nelson Mandela Bay, um, we, we didn't have much problems. However, I did yesterday go to NU29 in Motherwell, where we saw um, a group of, pe of people uh, protesting outside a voting station, although they were not barricaded anybody from going into the station or um, they, they were not uh, stopping anyone from registering but they were saying that they wanted to voice their concern about um, service delivery issues or the issue of a school that has not been built in that area um, in, in, the, in the past eight years. Um, so um, in the Eastern Cape uh, so far uh, we will be uh, talking to other, uh, my colleagues will be crossing later on just to give you updates on what's happening in areas such as Amashati um, and, and also in areas in the, in the Trans Sky but in NPE so far things are running smooth. Um, the, the station have opened on time. All right, Tumalo, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, that was a uh, uh, reporter, Zomari Tumatsipane, speaking to us live from Port Elizabeth. We're still in conversation with the IEC's uh, Deputy Chief Electoral Officer, uh, Dr. Masugu. Thank you so much for, for staying with us. I'm sure you've heard uh, our reporter there saying that, uh, you know, there's no incidents uh, reported so far. And uh, I'm just reading through some of the articles uh, saying that the IEC says it's now observing a steady flow of young people coming to the voting stations to register. What do you think uh, probably changed their mind? I don't think anything changed the mind. Uh, young, young people um, have been mistakenly uh, described as, as, as apathetic. Uh, mm. Apathetic means uh, you don't care and uh, you are, you, you've lost your energy to do so. The, 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 the young people of South Africa are not uh, apathetic. What they are concerned about is that they say, uh, please don't talk, uh, talk at me. Please don't uh, talk about me without me. Yes. And, uh, and, and what, what we've done in the Electoral Commission is that we have asked young people to come to, to, come to us and work with us yeah. and devise a campaign, conceptualize it from scratch, uh, birth it and, uh, and, and, and deliver it. And I think that is why um, it, it, it speaks to them because um, uh, I think there's a, there's a problem when, when, when older people remember how, how things used to be when they were young and try and speak in a language that they want to, to, to talk to. Yeah. And uh, they think, think things have changed a bit. But this campaign is quite different. We brought young people in. They're driving it. They're running the campaign. They're doing the, the, the advertising um, strategy of the Electoral Commission. And they've chosen 
this particular campaign. They've chosen uh, uh, XA. We haven't chosen it. Yes, yes. Uh, and and uh, if someone feels uh, it doesn't resonate with them, they're probably the wrong the wrong democrat uh, demographic. So I think that because it comes from them, they they take it as their own. It is resonating with them mm -hmm. and it works with them. And I think that's what young people are talking at, uh, 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 asking for. There are sixty percent of the potential uh, voters in in this country. And I think that we do ourselves a disservice by not uh, creating space for them to do what it is that they, they, yeah. they, they, they want. They're not asking us to do things for them. They're asking us to make way so that we can, we, they, they can do what it is that they need to do. If they Indeed. need help, they'll come and ask. Unfortunately, we, we don't have much time. Just a quick Slightly. one. If those uh, haven't been able to register today, would they have a chance? This is the easiest chance. We'll be targeting uh, institutions of higher learning. That is the group between 20 to 29. Okay. We'll be visiting institutions of higher learning. You can always uh, go to the Electoral Commission's office, uh, uh, offices. Right. Uh, you can uh, call our contact center at um, 0800 11 8000. They will tell you where you can go. Dr. Masugo, thank you so much for your time. It's a we great appreciate pleasure. It. That was the Deputy Chief Electoral Officer of the IEC, Dr. Nomsa Masugu, just giving us an update on uh, how the registration drive is going. Remember that today is the last day uh, for the registration.